Hi students, today we are going to learn about how to um, download a document that your teacher shared on Edsby and also how to upload a document once you've edited it and share it back with your teacher. So the first thing you're going to have to do is log into Edsby. Once you're here, you can decide which class you need to go into. So we're going to go into this English class today. Once you click on it, you'll find all the posts your teacher sent in the middle. So here's the file that I uploaded for students, and it has a graphic organizer that will open in Word for you and that you can edit to write a little story. So when you want to download something, you need to hover your mouse over top of it, and you'll see how this little download word appears. So once you do that, you can click download, and then usually it'll come and open down here at the bottom. It may say that you have to open in a folder, so when you click on it, it'll open a folder and then you can see the document and you might have to click it a second time. If it's like this at the bottom, you just have to click it once and it'll open in Word for you. Once your document has opened in Word, the first thing I like to do is put my name somewhere along the top. So I'm just going to call this Mrs. Stanton's Story Planning Sheet. And then you can set about filling out information. So here, if you were going to write a story, maybe I was going to write one about my cat. She is a bit of a troublemaker. So I'll put her name there, Sophie. And the setting might be in the backyard. And maybe the problem is Sophie has gotten into... No, how about this? Has fallen into the pool. I don't think she would like that very much. Anyhow, you can continue editing as long as you want, but when you're all finished, it's time to save. And I like to always save it in my documents. So I'm going to go to File, and then I'm going to go to Save As. If you're using a computer from school, your, your SIA computer, you might have to, it might look a little different when you go to save as, and you might have to find the word browse. And once you have browse, then another window will pop up where you can choose documents. So I like to choose documents and I like to give it a different name than the one that the teacher left. Left, And I like to give it a name that I'm going to remember. So this is my story. So Mrs. Stanton's story. And now I'm going to save it. Once it has saved, then you can exit out and you'll need to hop back into Edsby. So here we are into Edsby again. And I know I showed you that you can post things right here into the whole feed that the whole class can see. But when you're giving an assignment that you've written, it's probably better just to send it to the teacher personally. So you can do this by clicking here to send a private message to the teacher. So this little envelope click on it. And then here underneath, you'll have a bunch of um, a list of any messages that you've sent. I've kind of blurred mine out. Here you can search through your messages. But what we want to do is we want to write a new message. So we're going to click this little pencil and paper icon. Once you click it, uh, there will be a box here where you can enter who you want to send it to. So if you put your teacher's last name, you'll see a list come up. You can find your teacher and click on it. You might want to write a little message. Here is my story. And then because it's a document, we want to click this little paper looking thing here. And when we click it, it's going to open up your computer files. You're going to click on documents and you're going to have to find yours. So I'm going to search just really quickly there. There's my story. And again, you'll have to wait for it to turn green. Once it turns green, you can click send. And once you click send, it'll go to your teacher. So that's it for today. And I'm looking forward to getting work from you this way. Take care.